for tuning in to Eskimo TV, your home for icy and chilly movie reviews. I'm your host, Jason Escamilla. Anna and the Apocalypse is directed by John McPhail, and this movie failed for me on almost every single level. I really did not like this movie. This movie stars Ella Hunt, who plays a high school student who is dealing with high school problems. She wants to go to Australia to travel the world after high school. Her dad wants her to stay home for college, and there's a monk conflict amongst her friends, dealing with relationships, and things of that nature, high school issues. And then zombies come out of nowhere, and now Anna and her group of friends have to figure out how to survive, stick together, and this movie just was really bad. I had no idea what message it was trying to deliver. I enjoyed the first 15-20 minutes of the movie. I thought it presented a good setup. I thought Anna maybe could be this relatable character to a lot of people. There's a lot of kids that feel like they want to do something with their life that is different than maybe what their parents want them to do. And I thought that that was a relatable character for a moment. But then this movie just kind of goes off the wall and has its what I think the people that do like this movie are going to call fun. Zombies come out of nowhere. Our characters go on a rampant run from from them and there's violence and gore and it all seems so meaningless. It all seems so fake. It all felt very contrived. If you are okay watching characters that feel just very hollow and not very well developed, and you think you'd find a zombie chase that's gory to be a good experience, you might like this movie. There, There's one lady afterwards that was like, this was my favorite movie of the year. And my friend and I, who both really did not like this movie, were like, what the heck? There was hardly anything in this that made me laugh. I maybe smirked a couple times, but there was no big laugh out loud moment. It was all, I was intrigued by how outrageous this movie was. It was just like, all right, we're in high school, there's problems, zombies come out of nowhere, and the characters, like literally when zombies appear, and I get they were trying to be funny, it just wasn't funny to me. The characters are totally not acknowledging them. There's this song that's sung as they're just kind of walking past all these zombies. I thought that this was a big mess. It was trying to be a Christmas movie. It was trying to be a zombie apocalyptic movie. And they tried to put music in this. And I will say that the only thing I liked about this movie, the only thing that worked was two songs that were done during the first 20 minutes where I the thought this movie could have been decent. I thought this movie had a good beginning set up the first 20 minutes. I was invested. And shortly after that, once the zombies show up in this thing, I, I was out. I was like, this is too much for me. The characters didn't matter to me. There's some big moments that happen in this where I'm pretty sure the director wanted us to feel something and I just didn't because there was a disconnect because of how fake these characters and circumstances were that when these big moments happen, I was just like, okay, I don't care. Is this movie almost done? The best thing about this movie is a couple of songs that are catchy. And the fact that this movie is under two hours, I think it's an hour and 30 something minutes. Uh, so you get to leave quickly. That was nice. Um, but other than that, I really did not find anything enjoyable. I'm going to give Anna and the Apocalypse a D minus. I love talking about movies, but one thing I love more is talking about movies with you. So leave a comment if you have an opinion or a question that you'd like to leave regarding this movie. You can also follow me on social media at Eskimo TV. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more icy and chilly Eskimo TV reviews.